Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today, I want to chat with you guys about 10 ways I've simplified my life to make it better. Let's get right into it. First way is I used to have a lot of makeup. I wasn't even wearing half of it. For example, eyeshadow. I have oily skin. Eyeshadow does not work for me. I know it's weird. I'm almost 60, but I have oily skin. And so I gave up all the makeup I wasn't wearing, got rid of the big bin, and now I just put everything I need right here in this small bin makes a big difference. Another thing that I'm working on, I tend to just buy tons of different types of cleaning products. I don't have space for all that. We have a small home. So before buying more, I'm using what I have. And so I'm going to be simplifying my cleaning routine and products I use, but I'm going through what I have so that I don't waste it because the products I am using are perfectly good. So I'll be doing that. Number three, this is my very favorite tip and it has helped me so much. And I hope this tip can help some of you. A lot of times I feel lazy. And once I sit down, like for if I get home from a product demo and I decide to sit down and relax, good luck getting me up from the couch. So one of the things that I'm doing that really helps a lot is I say, you know what? I don't feel like exercising. I don't feel like cleaning. I don't feel like returning that phone call. I don't feel like doing whatever task it is because it might be overwhelming. Well, what I do is say, that's fine. It's okay that you don't feel like it but you're gonna do it anyway. But you know what? Do it for five minutes. Put a five minute timer on. After you do the five minutes, then you can go sit down and relax. A lot of times I end up doing it more than five minutes. If you don't even feel motivated to do it for five minutes, set a two minute timer. It is amazing how much you can get done even in 60 seconds of undistracted time. Just tell yourself, I don't feel like doing this. I understand it's gotta get done, but you know what? I'm just gonna give it five minutes and see what I can do in the five minutes. You're going to be really shocked. Okay, another thing is turn off your phone and any distraction if you really need to concentrate because a lot of times I still think that I can have things playing in the background while I'm working on a task and I can't and it distracts me and it slows down my progress. So what could have taken me 10 minutes now is taking me 45 minutes. If you think about it, a lot of times we don't feel like doing things because it takes a long time to do them. But Five minutes here, two minutes here, three minutes here makes a world of difference. Okay, another thing is, so less multitasking is basically what I want to say. Because you get more done when you don't multitask. Another thing, number five, give up perfection. You know what? It doesn't have to be all or nothing. Just do what you can do. It's all about small improvements. Number six, I eat once a day. Oh, mad, I eat between anywhere from three to four, right in that range. And it saves me so much time and it saves so much money. We have a lot of food here right now. I wish some of you lived near me because I could feed you for sure because I just freeze so many things because I'm not eating so much. So I'm saving time and I'm saving money because of just eating that once a day. Number seven, my decluttering and cleaning schedule. And I'm going to tell you, my house is not deep clean, but because I keep up with little daily tasks every single day and now I'm decluttering five minutes a day doing that if, if each of us decluttered five minutes a day and re, you know rehomed or donated some things and especially paperwork things like that and we cleaned something five minutes a day if we did that every day we would probably have a pretty organized and clean home I think what happens is people wait till the last minute and then they got a deep clean but if you keep things up for example I wipe out my fridges all the time so I don't have to pull everything out and do a deep clean I just keep it wiped up as I go that way I spend less time deep cleaning which I don't know about you I don't feel like deep cleaning so I just do a little bit each day makes a big difference number eight I'm gonna be rolling out a new and simple budget for 2025 I'll let you guys know about that in December it's gonna be a lot easier I'm looking forward to it it's gonna give me more freedom and it's gonna save our family money you're probably wondering why I'm not rolling it out yet I'm finishing up the year with what I'm doing but I will be starting that in January I may want to be making some more changes so I'll let you know as I make those decisions number nine giving up boring movies, videos, and books. And one way that I'm saving time, and I guess you would say money also, is if I find a video I really want to watch that I think is going to be very informative or entertaining, and I don't have time to watch it then, because once I start watching it, I will get distracted from my other things I need to do. 
YouTube has this fabulous feature where you can save it to watch later. So if I see things I want to watch, I put it in the watch later and I come back to it next time. Number 10, last but not least, I block schedule times. For example, I have a 45 minute lunch period and that's the time I can enjoy myself. I finish all my tasks before I read because if I go and I take a break, it's hard to get me back up. Some people can take five minute breaks. I am not one of those people. So I just have to keep going. So I block schedule entertainment and fun and I block schedule my work time. That really helps me. So these are ways that I'm simplifying my day to save money, give me more time and a more peace of mind. Tell me some ways you simplify your schedule and your day. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. That's all I have to say for now. I love you, I appreciate you, and I sure hope you come back for tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.